here in Orlando, Florida, as the Magic are about to go into this interconference contest right here. Welcome, everybody. Glad you decided to spend your Thursday night with us here at 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is go. David Aldrin. You take a look at San Diego. They've got to be hoping that the road will be a little kinder to them than their winless homestand they just concluded. And it's the last time they'll see these guys. A two-game season series, and after losing that first one, I'd expect them to play with a little extra added motivation. Going winless against any team is not your desire. I mean, no matter how many or how few times you face them, that's not something you want on your legend. That'll be motivation enough for them today all by itself. A look at San Diego's starting group. Beasley is out there with Hayes. Then it's Thompson. Then it's Trey Lyle. And it's Bunga in it for three. Really easy to appreciate Isaac. I mean, a solid teammate who's always ready to share the sugar. Beasley outside. Pass to Bunga. Here's Lyles. Hayes the pass to Bunga. Clock at four. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. Isaac against Beasley. Isaac right side. The Magic shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. free throw is good out of France the sharp shooting Fournier an important player to this team because of his scoring ability and so Fournier nails both of them it'll be the surf with their first time out of the game right here Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. And so just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Bunga. Now Beasley. San Diego moving the ball around. Passes it to Lyles. Now Hayes. Five to shoot. That's one he knows he should have drained. Over to the wing. Fultz looking around. Isaac. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. He's in the post, guarded by Fultz. The pass to Thompson. Trying to end the drought, and he gets it to go. There they go, finally able to drop one in on their fourth try. And you can't help but see the impact Thompson has in the paint. On both ends of the floor, he's a rock planted near the rim. Very strong legs that help him get to so many of those rebounds. And here is San Diego now. After the miss from Vucevic. And it's sent back by Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac had. I mean, this guy is incredible at denying shots. And he loves to do it. And when Gordon is launched and in the air like that, he's a mesmerizing guy to keep an eye on and just get out of the way. And with Thompson, as you said, Greg, once he's planted in the paint, <laughs> 
Good luck. <laughs> I mean, think about it. About 40% of his rebounds are on the offensive end. He just refuses to get moved or boxed out. Combine that with his hunger on that end of the floor, and you see why he's such a great rebounder. Here's Hayes after Jonathan Isaac's bucket. Has to be. Gonna go that time. And Orlando the other way now. Here's Isaac. Vucevic trying to get open. Isaac misses. San Diego trails by nine. Here's Bunga. Count it. <laughs> really good ball movement there in transition. For Orlando, they won their last contest that game against the Rockets in Houston. Pass to Gordon. To the inside. Here's Vucevic. It's good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Pass to Beasley. Here's Bunga. He's covered by Isaac. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lyles. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. Fournier's shot is off. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Hayes, no good. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 13-4 run. Isaac passes to Gordon. Over Hayes, and it's Gordon missing. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Bunga, no good. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out. But you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. Fultz. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. A timeout called here. The circle will talk it over. checked in and let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for him San Diego trails by 11 now the pass to Bonga Beasley for three traps in the tray when defending Beasley you've got to get up on him I mean he's lethal as a catch and shoot guy he gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew Hall of Famer David Aldridge I was able to talk with the head coach of the surf we talked about the problems Aaron Gordon presents on their defense coach said with his athleticism whoever guards him is going to be exhausted by his activity that's something we need to account for that means a lot of rotation players on the big man tonight, guys. Thank you, David. That free throw good from Fultz. And the explosiveness of Fultz really is incredible. Just he's effortless 
in terms of getting where he wants on the court. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Terrence Ross has checked in for Vucevic, and it's Isaiah Thomas in for Evan Fournier. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right. On your tablet, smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. Now here's Ross. And Terrence Ross, the wing from Washington, signed a four-year deal with the Magic in 2019. The team loves what he brings as a 3 and D type of player. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Magic. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. DJ Augustine's checked in for Fultz. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Beasley outside. Back to Hayes. Thompson outside. Pass to Lyles. San Diego moving the ball around. Here's Bunga. Trying to get open is Thompson. Tries again. And it's good on the layup. Thompson's got his second basket of the game. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. To the middle, here's Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. I like their focus coming in, terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Hayes, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Bunga deciding where to go with it. Three-pointer. They get it again. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Now, here's Thomas. Bamba inside. Working on Thompson. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. And it's Muhammad Bamba with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the surf. A 12-point game. Now here's Hayes. He's guarded close. Pass to Bonga. Miles kicks to Beasley. Here's Hayes. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. I can't figure out, guys, what's going on with him this quarter. I mean, he hasn't got one shot to drop. Nice shot there by Bamba. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Now, here's Lyon. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Trying to get open is Thompson. And that one is good by Beasley. Well, that's sharp shooting there from Beasley. Normally, we see him a lot deeper. But that time, he chose to step inside the line. Here's Augustine. He is hauled in by Lyle. San Diego trails by 12. Beasley kicks to Hayes. Passes it to Bonga. Lyles with it. Put it by Augustine. Shots good by Lyles. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Now, here's Thomas, covered by Hayes. Here's Gordon. It's hauled in by Lyles. 
Miles got four rebounds now tonight. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for Vucevic. He's checked in for Mohamed Bamba. And so he makes both from the line. Magic leading by eight. The pass to Ross. Three-pointer bangs home the trifecta. Ross has got five now. Man, I like the three-point stroke of Ross. Gets it off so effortlessly. Man, he's got terrific form. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first. Inside, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Seven seconds left in the first quarter. Down low. Here's Gordon. Can't connect from short range. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And so the first quarter is in the books. Magic lead by nine. The second quarter coming up right after this break. So don't go anywhere. Folks, second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the matchup? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. E.J. Augustine out there with Isaiah Thomas. And it's Ross in at the small forward. That's who's out there for Orlando. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Miles against Augustine. It's good. Gordon's got eight points. Yeah, nice vision from the little fellow there. Augustine making it easy for his teammates by finding the open man. Miles against Gordon. Hayes the pass to Bonga. Down to five on the shot clock. San Diego needs to get off a shot. A fader. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. To the inside. Gordon. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got his third assist on the night. A timeout called here. The serve will talk it over. And D.J. Augustine, a veteran guard who's always had an impact when he's on the floor. He, he gives you leadership, shooting, and playmaking off the bench. Tell you what, Greg, when he was with the Pacers during my time working for the team, I really grew to appreciate and respect his game even more than I did from a distance. You're exactly right. I mean, 
he's a barometer for just about any team he's played on and that when he plays well it lifts everybody else's game that's just the kind of experience calming effect veteran he is. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Terrence Ross. And Fournier subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. San Diego trails by 11. Pass to Bonga. San Diego moving the ball around. Now here's Hayes. He's tightly guarded. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for Orlando led by as many as 14 points. Well, you don't last as long as Augustine has in this league without smart. Very bright player knows exactly where to run when the break is on. Here's Bunga. Pass to Hayes. Back to Beasley. Banked in off the glass. Beasley's got his third bucket of the night. Boy, I tell you what, Beasley can really move. I mean, his drives are explosive and sudden. Defense has no way to stop him. Now, here's Fournier. He's got five. Out of bounds, San Diego takes possession. San Diego. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at the match, they're sixth best right now, looking to make a move up in the standings. And seeing where the Magic are, they've stayed right there just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right, it's still nice work considering where they are. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Now here's Hayes. After Jonathan Isaac's miss. Lyles with it. He's got six. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Raquel Fultz has checked in for Orlando. Magic leading by 11. Pass to Fournier. Feeds to Augustine. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. The Magic making a switch here. Bombas checked in. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Beyond the clock. Here's Fultz. The Magic again can hit. San Diego trails by 11. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. Now here's Fultz, and that one is good. Fultz has got six. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Easily outside. Back to Hayes. Here's Lyles. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Volch kicks to Isaac. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. 76% on the season from the foul line. And the first one at the line is good. And, you know, right now, for me, it's all about confidence as it relates to Isaac. I mean, this guy has the tools to be special. I think he just needs to be more consistent. So he gets them both. 
Now Hayes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. There's the pass to Banga. And here's Beeson. San Diego moving the ball around. Pass to Thompson. He kicks to Hayes. Just four to shoot. Here's the three. Rebound by the Magic. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And here's Beeson following Evan Fournier's three. Shoots over Fournier. Hits the front of the rim and out. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Here's Vucevic and slam dunk by Vucevic. Yeah, you know, one of the best parts of Nikola Vucevic's game is his great body, excellent hands, and the high motor makes him an outstanding rebounder. Now here's Higgins. Looking to end the run. It's good from long range. Hayes has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Fultz. He has six. Isaac outside. Pass to Vucevic. The Magic need to get a shot off here. That one rolling around and rims out. San Diego trails by 15. Thompson, high post. He dishes it to Hayes. And stolen by Fournier. Lays it up and banks it in. Fournier's got five points now this quarter. And it's hard to deal with Fournier if you're defending him. I mean, he makes good decisions, whether he's passing or shooting the ball. And that makes him hard to guard. Now here's Beasley. He has seven. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Hayes. Here's Wiles. That one misses. So Orlando will take it the other way. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Yep, it counts. Vucevic has got six. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Beasley. Floats one, and it's good on the way in. Nine points in the game so far. Beasley just outworked the defense there. I mean, was able to get into a shot and get it done inside. Now the pass to Bamba. With the shot, Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. And Beasley, here we go. That one wide left. And it's Fultz with the ball for Orlando. They lead by 17. Fournier's shot is off. Beasley against Bamba. Beasley with the bounce pass. Pass to Lyles. Let's it go with a three. And stolen by Fournier. Four on three break. Here's Fultz. And misses it off the right side of the rim. San Diego trails by 17. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Thompson. Here's Bunga. Back to Thompson. Here's Hayes. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Hayes has got his second basket of the night. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Yeah, you won't rock till you pick up speed. If you got it, you just 
the match. Terrence Ross has checked in for Jonathan Isaac. And it's Isaiah Thomas in for Evan Fournier. Thomas feeling it out a bit. It's hauled in by San Diego. Bunga gets the bucket. 156 left here in the second. Thomas passes to Ross. Now here's Fultz. To end the cold streak, Vucevic trying to get open. It's hauled in by San Diego. Miles got seven rebounds in the game. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Now here's Lyons. Thompson. And Bamba pulls it down. Ross in the corner. Here's Fultz. Nice pass. Run right into the rack perfectly for the layup. Fultz has got eight points. Ross has earned his reputation as a team first guy. Excellent at distributing the ball. Manga, the pass to Lyles. Kicks it to Hayes. No good with the triple. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Fultz dishes to Vucevic. Outside for Thomas. Offensive rebound. Bamba trying to break free. Looks good. Is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Passes to Bonga. Now Beasley. San Diego moving the ball around. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Ross passes to Vucevic. There's Thomas with the three. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a size of the lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be right back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Orlando had no problems getting going. Some major league offense and defense in the mix as they raced out to an 11-2 lead. As the first quarter came to a close, however, they found themselves up by just four. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution. Good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Orlando played? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track lead. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Well, the big issue to address, Ernie, is their rebound. They got low energy, low effort on the glass, Let's take our day with a whole different attitude. The final score can look like Kenny. U-G-L-Y. He ain't got no alibi. He's ugly. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Nice game, great performance by Evan Fournier. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. On the court for the surf. We've got Hayes. Thompson is out there with Trey Lyles. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Bonga in at the three spot. And the pass to Lyles. Shot clock at five. Back to Hayes. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Magic. Vucevic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Fultz, the pass to Vucevic. Up and in on the layup. 
Vucevic has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Magic. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Shots good by Lyles. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Magic leading by 16. And here's Fournier. Ten points for him. He kicks the faults. Over Beasley. And it falls over the rim and in. Fultz has got ten points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Timeout called here. The circle will talk it over. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. For Muhammad Bamba. And here is San Diego now. They trail by 18. The feed to Thompson. Great D that time from Vucevic. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for Orlando. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Hey, it's pretty simple. When Gordon is connecting like he is now, I mean, you got to keep getting the ball to him. He often takes high-quality shots. Here's Bunga. Pass to Hayes. San Diego moving the ball around. Four on the shot clock. Here's Thompson. Good work there as it goes. Thompson's got eight points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Beasley, the pass to Thompson. To the paint. And it's sent back by Isaac. Here's Fournier, and he drops in the layup off the glass. 12 points for him. Well, you know, it's obvious how much Fournier's teammates respect his scoring ability. I mean, you can see it out there. He's capable from anywhere, and his teammates believe in him. Here's Bonga to the middle. Here's Hayes. That one falls. Eight points for Killian Hayes. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Pass to Gordon. Inside. Here's Vucevic. It's not going to go for him. So San Diego will take it the other way. Gordon against Lyons. Thompson left side. From outside the arc, it's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got seven rebounds in the game. Passes it to Fultz. Gordon with it. A floater. And now San Diego on the break. Shots good by Lyons. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Magic. You know, with their fast break operating so efficiently, I mean, you can see why they've gone with Take it break. throughout the game. Break. And also, Two guys, shots. they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. And he knocks down the first one. D.J. Augustine's checked in for the Magic.
He hits both from the strike. And here is San Diego now. And there's the pass to Bonga. Hayes down low. And by Augustine. Tries from 10. Hayes no good. Magic leading by 20. Now here is Augustine. Contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, Augustine, when he's attacking, playing downhill, trying to score, that puts a lot of pressure on the defense and puts him in a tough spot guarding. The Magic haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Oh, Ten of break. ten. Take a break. And as a team, yourself. really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. That free throw missing. And, you know, the speedy Augustine is really an excellent teammate and a dependable role player, a veteran presence who can really stroke it. Good on the second free throw. San Diego trails by 21. Easily outside. Here's Bonga. He's guarded by Fournier. Hayes, no good. This fires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. It's a tough day so far. And now San Diego on the break. Here's Thompson, and he gets the bucket. Thompson's got four this quarter. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Now, here's Fultz. 14 points for him. And Vucevic kicks to Fournier. Six to shoot. Once again off the mark, Orlando. San Diego trails by 19. Bunga gets the bucket. Bunga's got six. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Fultz. Outside Fournier. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got his fifth assist in this one. Quite honestly, Fournier just has a, a good basketball IQ, a high basketball IQ. Knowing even before he gets the pass that he's got time and space to shoot. Gordon against Lyon. Thompson passes to Bonga. Goes up on the wing. Bank shot. No good. So hard. Actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. And Augustine kicks to Gordon. Fournier against Lyon. The three point line, it's Augustine. Wide open shot is on the money. Five points in the game. Yeah, the clever Frenchman, Fournier, solid at recognizing when the defense isn't covering one of his teammates. Pass to Bonga. Pass to Hayes. But three. Rebound by the Magic. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Augustine with it, picked up by Thompson. Augustine against Thompson. They have a very long way to go to get within sight of the lead. And from what we've seen so far, guys, don't hold your breath. Now here's Hayes. He's got eight. Here's Bonga. On its way from Beasley for two. They get it back. Vucevic with the block. Get that weak stuff out of here. You can't come weak like that against Vucevic. He's going to send it back at you. And it's good for two. Great pass that time by D.J. Augustine. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Thompson passes to Bonga. Fultz against Beasley. San Diego moving the ball around. San Diego with another miss. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. 
Down low. Passes to Augustine. Outside Gordon. He's with it. Out to the right wing. Here's Bonga. Guarded by Fultz. Now Hayes. He's got eight. And time there's out, Thompson out. putting it right back in. There you go. A relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Time called here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Some changes. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Terrence Ross comes in for Markel Fultz. And Thomas subbed in for Augustine. Now, here's Thomas. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. That's their third straight make off an assist. There's a minute 34 left in the third. The pass to Bonga. To the paint. Here's Hayes. Gets hauled in by Gordon. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Wiles against Thomas. And the basket is good. Thomas got his first bucket of the night. Boy, love the confidence Thomas has. Feels like he can score from anywhere, even deep inside the paint. 52 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Hayes the pass to Bonga, and the layup's good off the glass. Bonga's got eight points. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Here's Ross. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Bonga. He's got eight, pass to Beasley. Kicks to Hayes. Pass to Wiles. Over Thomas. Orlando grabs the miss. From 12 feet out. No good from Ross. Here's Beasley. Oh, and he nails it just in time. One eye on the rim, one on the clock. What a play. An ideal way to end the quarter with momentum on your side. And so it's the Orlando Magic finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Right back after this break. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Gordon and Bamba, the combo inside. Terrence Ross is out there with Thomas. And it's Isaac in at the three, the small forward. Fultz is out there for Orlando. And here is Sadoransky. Musa passes to Thompson. Here's Musa. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Isaac's got four rebounds in this game. Tips it up. It's good on the putback. Boy, Bamba, really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and timing, and his intensity is really impressive. Passes it to Musa. Back to Thompson. Evans outside. 
tries from 16. Doesn't go that time. So Orlando will take it the other way. And Thomas has it in the corner. Knocks down the three ball. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most Probably. common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Powell, he's jacked in for Thompson. And it's the Magic's ball. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Outside Thomas. And that one goes long. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Nice shot by Smith. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for San Diego. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Sadoransky the pass to Wade. Back to Sadoransky. To halt the run. And the layup is good. Sadoransky's got his first basket of the night. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Outside Thomas. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Oh, great ball movement there. Thomas gone two of four shooting from three-point land. Sadoransky finds Wade. Thomas against Sadoransky. Just five on the clock. They get it back. Here's Wade. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Ross passes to Okiki. Here's Thomas. It's deflected. To the inside. And it's Evans missing. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it down. And then Smith with the dunk. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Now here's Evans. Now here's Sadoransky. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Outside Thomas. Good on the shot. Isaiah. And I'll tell you, Isaiah gives you everything he's got every time out. Right there, finishing through contact. The pass to Sadoransky. And he comes up with the deuce. Sadoransky's got four this quarter. Sadoransky's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Smith outside. And it's Wade with the rebound. And here is San Diego now. Here's Musa. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Nailed from three-point land. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Now, here's Sadoransky. Pass to Powell. And he uses the glass on the layup. Dwight Powell certainly is high energy and his hops help him a lot inside. And it's Orlando's ball. Outside Thomas. Ross passes to Okiki. Lock at six. Back to Ross. Shoots the three. 
That shot missing. And the serve will come the other way. Evans, that's a two-pointer. The rebound by a one-do. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. And you know what? This is an area where Isaiah Thomas is lethal. He's got great feel and touch from the mid-range. Now, here's Sadoransky. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Walls checked in, and DJ Augustine subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. Williams, he's checked in for San Diego. Williams comes in for Musa. Orlando with the ball. Here is Augustine. It's good. You know, it's obvious and easy to talk about Augustine's speed. He's a speed merchant, but how about his creativity there? Evans outside. Pass to Powell. San Diego moving the ball around. Now Sadoransky. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal attacking basketball. I like that. Free throw good, Sadoransky. And so he hits both. Augustine with it. This is a two, a one do. Back to Augustine. The pass to Smith. Dishes to Augustine. Five on the clock. Here's a one do. Off target from three point range. Here's Evans. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, and the defense allowing some room here on the inside in the second half, and they're taking advantage. A lot of their points coming from in the paint. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Here's a one-do. Back to Augustine. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Back to the line. Shooting two. DJ Augustine. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for San Diego. To the middle. Powell, that's good. Powell's got four points this quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Here's a one do. Back to Augustine. From deep three point range. No good. Shot missing.
kicks it out to Evans. Pass to Powell. Now Sadoransky. Guarded by Augustine. The shot by Sadoransky, no good. And it's Orlando's ball. Now Augustine. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Good on the bucket. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Evans. And here is Sadoransky. Props in the layup for two. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the class. Sadoransky against Augustine. Law the pass to Smith. It's hauled in by San Diego. 141 left in the game. Pass to Evans. Back to Sadoransky. Outside Williams. Here's Powell. Beats the shot clock but can't get it to fall. And the Magic with possession. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Magic. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. Yeah, you know, I thought the result might be a little different this time around, but clearly I was mistaken. And now they'll have to wait till next year for a shot at revenge. And a lot of players tonight helped contribute to this performance, but in particular, a real good game it was for Vucevic. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing everything that came off the iron. Augustine against Williams. Now here is Augustine. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.